Hello guys, uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial. My name is Evans and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to continue looking at uh, the 2016 May-June um, uh, Paper 2 ICT exam and um, in the last video we have um, been looking at um, uh, data um, manipulation and we looked at creating reports. Um, we reached a section where we were supposed to um, go into um, task number four. Um, we just finished looking at task number 26 and um, uh, because of time I couldn't continue uh, doing the recording of um, task number 27, uh, rather step number 27 um, and the task number four. Um, so task number four is basically a continuation of task um, um, number three, uh, step number 26 and um, for you to do task number four, you should have so solved or um, yeah solved task uh, number twenty six. Okay, so task twenty six or twenty seven rather is dependent on the um, the answers that you found for twenty six. Okay, so um, if you are just joining me um, in this video, I suggest that you watch the previous video um, uh, where I talked about um, uh, data uh, manip manipulation. Um, probably what I would do, I'll label these videos in terms of parts, part one, part two, part three, part four, so that you guys are able to follow the sequence properly. Okay, so nevertheless, let's dive into what we're supposed to do um, um, this late afternoon. Um, <clears throat> so, step to, um, number 27 says, import this data into your document as a table after the paragraph which ends activities to choose from. So um, directly what we have been creating, we were creating a table, let me just run this. This is the table that we created in task 26 and um, we extracted some information only to show ski or snow and a country was supposed to be France and these other things as you can see uh, highlighted under task 26. Okay, So this is the table that we are supposed to import into our document according to the question. Okay, so import this into your document as a table after the paragraph um, which ends activities um, to choose from. Okay, the document in question is the one that we created under the section document production. And so um, um, this is the document in question. Uh, so we need to insert the table that we just created in access into this document. Okay, so please, um, if you haven't watched uh, these videos and are just coming on the stage, I encourage you to go back to the first video and watch the first video come all the way uh, because some questions are sort of interdependent and um, you find that you going to miss a great deal of knowledge um, uh, but if you do understand of course uh, what I'm talking about here please don't hesitate to um, just continue um, with this video okay so in the meantime let's go back to the question paper we're supposed to insert the table which table uh, we're supposed to insert this table let me just go ahead and copy this table let me just um, say can I copy it from here okay just get it uh, let's click here to select the entire table Right, um, right click and say copy. Okay, um, and then let's go and um, the question we look at where we're supposed to paste the table. We need to paste it under the text activities to choose from. Activities to choose from. So let's go back here and hit Control F on your keyboard and type activities to choose from. So the sentence is supposed to end now. You notice that there are three results, okay? So you have one activity to choose from. This is not where the paragraph ends, okay? So let's go back here. We want where the paragraph ends, okay? So if you notice here, uh, it can be a trap for you. <laughs> it can be a trap for you if you try to paste the table here just because you found where it says activity choosing because it's not where the paragraph ends. So is it is this place here? It's not also where the paragraph ends not even here so you you basically have to look for where the paragraph ends so the paragraph ends here as you can see this is a, a different paragraph if you want to verify that this is where the paragraph ends uh, you need to put here okay show and hide and you'll notice that there will be a symbol that it's going to put here and this demarcates the end of a paragraph okay so what i'm going to do is to put my cursor there and hit enter key on my keyboard and then paste the table that i just copied so you notice that the table automatically fills um <coughs> excuse me 
<coughs> excuse me <coughs> right excuse me I got shocked a bit uh, <laughs> yeah okay so what I want to do I've just pasted the table that I copied from um, um, from access so what I need to do now is to uh, go back to the question paper so I've copied the table we need, just need to make sure that the table fits within the column width okay so let's go back um, on to our work the table should fit within the column width so you notice that it's within the left margin and um, this side you notice that even though it does not reach the right margin but it is within the column margins okay so next step we need to verify that um, all required fields and their labels are fully visible so go back here again check that uh, the fields are fully visible uh, if they are not just um, um, take your cursor there double click you see that it has enlarged a bit take your cursor there double click uh, okay and take your cursor at the end there again uh, once you have that double click and you see that the table the data within the table fits okay um, notice also um, let's go back to the question paper make sure that the data is displayed on one line except the field headings which can wrap okay now the field headings can wrap uh, but in this case um, we'll, we'll, we'll try to check out that but the last part says that new table style should be applied to the extract so let's go back to the extract and um, let's apply the style news table news table is this one okay so as you can see the column width uh, rather the column headings they are wrapped okay um, let me just undo this so the, the other thing guys that I wanted to say that this title is not supposed to be there and um, the reason is uh, because whatever you copy whenever you copy something from um, access uh, access also gets the, t the title of the table um, as part of the table that you're going to copy there so what you can do is to select this and delete um, delete this um, this row okay so just delete row okay and let it be like that the other thing also you need to um, you can wrap this text okay you can have it like that is too fine just put a case there and do that so that can be fine cost code um, cost cost that should be fine okay the next thing that you're supposed to do is to make sure you notice that um, no dicks no um, should be in a single line uh, airplane uh, is it airplane alpine alpine snow skitting should be in one line as well as snow uh, topo gaining should be also in one line so to do that you just put your cursor at the begin there um, in between activity and course code in this boundary once you have that then double click and automatically it gets to be um, the fields gets to be spread even so just verify that it you are in the boundaries okay even this side just verify that you have the boundaries okay so that should be it okay so let me just go back here to the question paper and um, okay so we are done data is displayed in one line except the field headings so if you go back here you notice that um, the data is displayed actually in one line this is the data from here all the way to here this is the data but the activity this one is displayed in two lines so that should be fine also um, um, let me see uh, next thing uh, okay so that is done then the next part just says spell check and proofread the document make sure that um, tables and lists are not split over to two columns or pages okay so um, we need to proofread the document so which means we need to check for spellings um, uh, spelling mistakes and all let me just finish reading through the points make sure that there are no widows or orphans there are no blank pages and the house style specification has been folded and the correct styles applied and the spacing between all items is consistent okay so let's go ahead and check all those uh, features that we've just mentioned okay so let's start with checking that the, this page has no spaces or whatsoever so there are no blank uh, pages done um, let's find out let's check select everything go to um, um, paragraphing okay uh, go to line breaks and then make sure that often widow control is ticked and say okay 
okay so there are no orphans um, in this document okay there's no paragraph or sentence that is hanging on its own okay um, then you need to uh, proofread um, so I, I'm just going to use um, uh, rather I'm going to hit F7 on my keyboard um, to do spell checking now these are activities the name of activities so snow kitten don't please don't don't try or snow kiting please don't try to change that um, it is perfectly fine because it is the name of an activity um, so just ignore all so whatever snow kitten is applying ignore that okay so jet lag where is that so it's jetly so don't change anything this is an activity name so don't change that a noun can be um, a name that is not English okay so um, even that ignore it and then um, end end suit okay so it cannot be end suit this one here it cannot be end suit okay so um, just leave it as it is okay um, ignore and then um, okay yeah just say yes then 24 hour um, 24 hour usually it's supposed to have an hyphen uh, or a hyphen uh, in between uh, 24 an hour and usually um, word will explain to you why the hyphen is needed for example like what our five-year-old son is learning to read okay um, um, here you are free to put a hyphen or you can leave it as it is but I'm going to just say ignore uh, for now okay and um, Tawara also I'll ignore because that's the name we're given canoeing I'll ignore um, bagging I'll ignore as well canyoning rather canyoning it's supposed to be like that then bagging is supposed to be just like that um, and we've proofread the document and it's perfectly fine the next thing that we're supposed to uh, verify let me just go back there there are no blank pages uh, pages there are no windows or orphans the columns are split into two columns of pages and the document um, has um, uh, uh, save the document using the same file name and format uh, used in step two okay so step two um, the document was saved um, uh, as a wet document okay so um, let me see if there's anything else so print the document and make sure that you place your name center number and candidate number on your document so just come back here uh, to the document make sure that your name is there in the header okay and the rest of the stuff is perfectly fine okay so I'm gonna just leave this document as it is uh, for now I feel this document is 100% correct and um, we've gotten everything in this section so what I'm gonna do guys um, is to let me see how much time I've utilized in this video if I can incorporate um, um, okay okay so I've used just about 12 minutes I think this should be fine let me um, quickly dive into uh, the section for mailmage so that I don't have to do a separate video for mailmage okay um, um yeah <clears throat> so mailmage i can uh, handle to do this uh, because it's not so much a long thing so um let's see okay that's number five tawara adventures are recruiting staff for their new activity center in france you are required to carry out a mailmage to invite successful applicants for the interview use the file j216interview.rtf as a master letter for the mailmage and the file j 216 applicantscsv as the data source okay so in this master letter replace debt with a field to display today's debt in the format dd mmm yeah 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 now what this means is that for d uh, for the day you're going to have um two digit number and for the month you're going to have the full month if it was mm just three of them then you're going to have um you're going to have let's say if it's June you just have J U N um, okay three uh, characters if it is um, MM then you're going to have just um, um, two characters or two numbers if it is the month of May then you have zero five if it is just M then you just have one character and uh, one number if it's just May then you just have five and like this why 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 four of them just for show you a full year for example this is 2016 so you just need to hide 2016 okay as it is um, you cannot have three of these you would rather have two which is just show you 16 okay so what is supposed to do um, here I'm going to go back here and start a new uh, document no not a new document I'm supposed to open a document let me go back here I'm supposed to use the file j216 interview as the master letter so I'm going to go there in my source files and um, j216 
two, one. Let me see. Where are you? Um, interview. I think should should be the one. Let me just verify. Okay, so it's interview RTF. So that's the one. So let's double click on this one to open it. And um, next, we're supposed to so let's say enable editing. Okay. The next. Um, we open this one and then and then the file the image file that we're supposed to use is this one okay the file applicant uh, the file um, j216 applicants.csv this is the data source so what I'm gonna do is to bring the data source uh, into things so just go on mailings and then select uh, recipients and then uh, use an existing list and then go to um, uh, the location where the file is saved okay so mine is on the desktop inside source files and I'm gonna get applicants and get it in there so the moment you the moment I put applicants you notice that this one edit recipient list has been enabled okay so we have gotten these two files and they are ready to be used and um, okay so in the master letter replace debt with a field to display today's debt in the format DD M M M M Y Y Y Y. Okay, so let's go back to here, and we need to replace this one. So just highlight this one. Make sure that when you highlight, you don't uh, get the space here, because you notice the way when I highlight that there is space at the end after the angle bracket there. You don't need that space because when you replace that, this title is going to go up there to occupy the space but we want the formatting to remain as it is so what i'm going to do is hold shift on my keyboard and press the back arrow on my keyboard um like uh, let me let me do this put my cursor at the beginning there hold shift and then drag press my right arrow and then just all the way up to where the immediate angle bracket ends and that should be that so let's go ahead and insert um a quick part if pick up a field and we want the debt field so just scroll down to debt now here this is where you find um, the format that we're talking about so this format like for example the first one that is there it's dead day because two characters and then the month is uh, mm and then this is yeah 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 but what we want is dead day and then the month should be full name and then the year so pick up 25th September and then say okay so that is perfectly done let's go next insert the relevant merge fields from the data source to replace the text in the chevrons okay um, the chevrons are the fields okay um, the, the the angle brackets that you find there so let's go back to our mail image uh, master uh, file and then we need to replace this so I'll put my cursor there and just go there remember I'm avoiding to get I'm just getting up to the last item uh, after the angle bracket and then so let's go back to uh, mailings and then let's go to um, um, insert merge fields okay insert merge fields and um, this is title so I'm gonna add title and then next one is first name and insert um, uh, first name the next one is um, last name okay and I'm gonna just gonna pick up that one as well and insert um, last name and um, next one is add one so I'm just gonna select that as well and insert add one then we have add to okay um, add to just make sure that only that is selected to avoid the text going um, there so the next one is add three and um, let's insert add three and the last one not the last one but um, on the address part then we need to insert um, postcode okay so just put a few postcode there and um, then again we come back to title um, yeah so say select that title and um, say title and then last name okay and select last name from insert field last name where are you here um, then we need job row okay job row and insert job row there and um, interview time also I need to set the interview time okay so yeah interview time 
and um, yeah so we've replaced all the fields that are represented by the chevrons and um, the next thing that we need to do now is replace the text candidate name with your name okay so let's go back here candidate name where is it here replace it with your name so just highlight this and um, just say Chikasa Evans okay please don't include your candidate number, center number, and um, this stuff. It's not necessary here. Um, it's just supposed to be with your name. And then include your center number and candidate number in the footer of the document. So let's go back. In the footer of the document, I'm going to go on insert, and then footer, blank three columns, so that it aligns there. And then I'll put center number as ZM556, and then down there, the candidate number 0001. And I'm going to have to delete this one here remember what we did in the other uh, document okay so what I want to do now is um, uh, spell check and proofread the letter so let's go back here uh, we spell check if there is anything so I'm gonna hit F7 on my keyboard and check for some spellings so X um, this is not supposed to be ends <laughs> ignore just ignore it uh, it could be something I don't know what it is but I don't think it's supposed to be like um, uh, Angs or whatever. Uh, um, Tawara, as usual, ignore it. Uh, Gonville, ignore it. Application, now you can change application. And attendance, you can also change attendance. Supposed to be double T. Okay, so the document is uh, complete and it's perfect. Okay, so next thing that we're supposed to do is to save the master letter and display the field codes. Okay. So save the master letter. So let's go ahead and save the master letter. Save it and then display the field codes. Okay. So save um, the master letter, display the field codes. So let's go ahead. The field codes are there. Okay. Um, we don't need to show the names. So this is the field codes there. And um, next thing that we just need to do is to um, place in the evidence document screenshots showing evidence of the format of the debt used. Okay. So format of the date used. So you just need to get a screenshot of this. Okay. Um, format of the date. That that should be fine. Um, the date is here, so that should be fine. I'll just copy that, and let's go to um, the evidence document, and I'm going to a date field here. Just put that. What? <laughs> okay. Let me just push this in down there. Uh, okay. Okay, so you have the dead field there. Let me just crop it. It doesn't look good there. It looks as though something was cut. Okay, so let me just crop it so that it looks perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It's it's perfect the way it is. It's fine. Um, uh, what we are d just interested in is that the debt is visible as it is. That's the format of the debt. Okay. So next thing that we're supposed to do um, is to print the master letter with the merge fields. Okay. With the merge fields. Okay. Now, um, the merge fields um, here we're not supposed to show. Um, we're not supposed to show the 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 actual f uh, uh, values in this field. So we're just supposed to print this as it is. So just go ahead and print with the fields that are showing here, and then go back uh, to step. Uh, so this is step three. Uh, print. Make sure that you've entered. Um, uh, let me see. Print your master file, master letter with the merge field displayed. Okay, that's fine. And then print on number three. That's make sure that you've entered your name, center number, card number on your master letter. Okay. So let's go to the master letter. Um, where is the master letter? And so yeah. So we have our name there and our candidate number and our center number. They are there. Okay. So that should be fine. Um, the next thing that we're supposed to do. Um, um, let's see where we. Okay. We are here. Let's go back to the question. Uh, step 30 says merge the letters selecting only those applicants who have applied for job of ski instructor and um, we need to place evidence um, in the evidence documents uh, a screenshot showing the selection method that we used so let's go back here so what we want uh, is only to merge um, um, documents or letters uh, only showing those guys that have got a job description of ski instructor okay so let's go back here and to be able to do that, we need to edit our recipient. So go back here and say um, edit recipient. And then when you have this, then you need to filter 
okay you need to filter uh, the relevant uh, stuff you filter it out and then uh, so you go which field do you want to filter i want to filter the the job row okay because remember uh, in the question we're told that um, uh, those that have applied for the job so the row of skill a uh, skill instructor is the one that we want so if this one should be equal to ski instructor okay instructor okay and say okay automatically you notice that um, you only have three if you scroll to this you find that um, the job row is ski instructor so this is perfect and then um, I don't know um, if there is anything before I click on okay it says um, major letter selecting only the applicants who have applied for job screen, screen place the evidence showing the selection method so you just need to get evidence of this and just copy it okay and copy it and then go back to uh, why if I open the Excel thing go back to here just say okay and go back to uh, the evidence and then the method that is used select it there and that is that okay so the next thing that we're supposed to do is um, print only the mage letters for the applicant save and close the documents and then make sure that you have entered your name center number and number on your letters okay so what we need to do is um, go back here uh, where is that here and uh, we need now to preview the results okay so now here now when we preview the results this is why uh, where we find um, the three uh, letters um, that have been written so this one is miss victoria okay and um, you can print this letter then go to the next one print it as well go to the next one print it or you can just say finish and merge and it to put all the letters that you've typed in one long document and then you can go ahead and print that document okay so i think um this is the uh, this is it on uh, mail merge um if you guys have got questions uh on this part uh, or have been too uh, quick to go through uh, mail merge uh please pardon me <laughs> you can always rewind this um this uh, video and um um, watch until you understand until it becomes a part of you or until it becomes natural for you to work with these uh, concepts here so um, in this video I think I'm gonna end here uh, in the next video I'm gonna be looking at um, the last segment of this video which is um, presentation and then we should be kissing goodbye to this paper 2 thing and then um, in the course of next week uh, no not next week yeah I think next week in the course of next week uh, God willing if I find some time, I uh, will um, make um, um, another video um, to do with paper three. In the meantime, I'll be preparing to travel out, so um, I may be busy this this week. But um, at least I've done uh, paper two. Then when I come, just come back um, over the weekend, I think I'll do uh, paper um, paper three. Okay, and that should be it for the June 2016 exam. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so, and uh, like my videos, uh, my channel, uh, share them with your friends, share them with your teachers, and um, I'll see you in the next video. All right, ciao.